This video contains the advanced editing functions, such as trim, extend, offset, mirror, fillet, and chamfer. Trim and extend work basically the same way. To enter trim, type TR, and the command line will prompt you to select cutting edges. So select the lines you'd like to cut between, and press enter. Next, select the object to be trimmed. The portion you click on will be the portion that disappears. If I click here, the line will be trimmed between my cutting edges. If I click on one of the lines above the top cutting edge, just that end of it will disappear. If I click here, the whole bottom half of the line will disappear. Extend works in the same way. You select boundary edges. Then you choose the object to extend. The offset command can be used to copy an object a specified distance. If I select an object and type O for offset, I'll be prompted for a distance to offset. I'll say 10 units. Then I just pick the side on which to offset. Above. You can also offset shapes. Select the object, type O for offset. I'll use a much smaller distance here, say 0.5. And then I'll offset this inside of itself. You can see that the geometry shrinks inside, and as soon as that top right protrusion disappears, it just makes a four sided object. Offsets work great with polylines to do things like walls. Next, I'll show you the mirror command. If I select an object or objects, and type MI for mirror. I can mirror these objects over a mirror line. I'll pick one point to start my line, and my second point will define the mirror line. I'll use ortho to make a vertical line, and the objects will be mirrored. Fillet and chamfer apply to corners. Fillet is rounded and chamfer is mitered. I'll type F for fillet, R for radius to set the radius of my fillet, and I'll set it to 0.2. I'll just select two of my lines that make up a corner, one followed by another, and it'll automatically fillet that corner. Now if I don't want it to automatically trim the lines like it did here, I'll type F for fillet, T for the trim option, and set it to no trim. Now if I select two of my objects, it'll add a fillet without deleting the original lines. Chamfer works the same way, except that instead of being based on a radius, it's based on two distances. The break command can be used to break objects. I'll type BR for break, select the point on my object I want to start my break at, select a second point, and it'll break between those points. If I'd like to break at a single point, I can select the point, and for my second point, I just enter at, which basically means go 0, 0, 0 from the original point. This line is now broken into two separate segments. You can also join objects back together. I'll type join. Select one of these lines I just broke. Select the line to add to it. Press enter, and it's one segment again. I can also scale objects. If I select one of these shapes I made and type SC for scale, I'll be prompted for a base point. The base point is the point on which the object will stay put as it's scaled. I'll use an endo snap to choose this point. Now I can either use the cursor to define the scale, the length of my line being the scale factor, or I can type it in. I'll make this half the size it was before by putting a scale factor of 0.5. Next I'll stretch an object. To stretch an object, type S with nothing selected, and use a crossing window from right to left. Whichever segments are fully enclosed in the box will move. The segments that are not enclosed in the box at all will stay put, and any segments that the box crosses will stretch. If I make a box like this and press enter, 
I'll choose a base point on one of these ends. This is the point from which I grab to stretch. You can see that all the lines on the right side stay in the same relationship, length, and orientation. The mostly horizontal lines in the middle, which the box crossed, are the ones that stretch.